tonight on Dancing with the Stars, the final five couples going head to head in an intense showdown. Intense indeed, but bull rider Bonner Bolton and his partner, our friend Sharna Burgess, unfortunately sent home. We're so glad though. They flew all night. They are here right now, live in our studio. We welcome you guys. Yeah. This is something that I have for both of you. After a frustrating week of rehearsal, I mean, are, are you disappointed to, to be here this morning? I hate to say it like that, but <laughs> are you disappointed to be here this morning? I think it, it definitely comes with disappointment. Everybody wants to go all the way. We're competitors at the end of the day, mm -hmm. but also incredibly grateful that we made it to the top five of Dancing yeah. with the Stars and how incredibly proud I am of this man. We had no idea we were going to get that far. And yet I think he was inspiring so many people that they just wanted to keep seeing him get out there and do his best. Yeah. Yeah. And I do have to clear the record. That was maybe five minutes of our week that they showed, <laughs> not our entire week. Yeah. And uh, we have a great working relationship. Every couple that goes through that process has its ups and downs. Mm -hmm. and Absolutely. You got to put all that stuff behind you and keep moving forward. And we do a good job of that every week. Yeah, yeah you sure did. And, and you know, not to mention, to go through what you went through, I, I mean, paralyzed from the neck down, 1% chance of possibly walking yeah. again, and you go and you make the final five. Yes. Pretty impressive. 16 right. months ago, I was. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 16 months ago, I was laying face up in a hospital bed wondering if, you know, I was ever going to walk again. I had 1% to 5% chance of ever doing that. And in fact, I broke down in tears last night on the plane over just thinking about how far I've come in, in the last 16 months, and it's really touching for sure. It's truly humbling. Well, it, it's an inspiring for everybody else to see day. this as well. <laughs> and, and Sean, I have a question for you because you look at, at Bonner, he looks so fit and strong, but do you think that worked against him? or you guys, because most people forgot a year ago he was in that hospital bed. I, I do think that it did work against us a little bit. He looks so fit. You, mm -hmm. you don't realize that he has a disability. It's not Noah Galloway where you can see the amputations. It's not uh, an Amy Purdy where she has no feet. This is something internally that does make him stiff, that does stop him from moving. And he does not have the abilities that other people do. And so to compare him to those people is a little unfair. To constantly get the comment of, oh, you looked a little stiff, well, yeah, He's part metal in his spine. Yeah. He's gonna. To put yeah. it you know. simply, I have a square metal frame in the main rotator point of yeah. my spine and my neck, which, you know, for a dancer, that's your most important thing. Mm -hmm. So it makes dancing incredibly hard for me. But what is sure. incredible is he's now, after eight weeks of dancing with me on Dance with the Stars, <laughs> moving stronger and better yeah. with that in his neck and his spine, and he feels stronger because of it. I'm so, so thankful. That's it's, incredible. It's been amazing to find out the range of motion I have you know, gotten back from all of this, and I thank her for, you know, pushing me as hard as she has. We're really glad you did it. You were brave. Absolutely. You made a lot of people really happy, and we wish you the best. Thank you so much. All right, thank you guys for coming in this morning. Don't miss the dancing semifinals Monday night at 8, 7 Central, right here on the